All right guys, Papa Pepper here. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make just a simple cold frame. Um, I've got the materials that I'll be using behind me, but before I show you quickly how to make a cold frame, I'm going to simply explain to you what a cold frame is. So a cold frame is normally gonna be some sort of structure. They're normally low to the ground, and they're gonna have a transparent top. For me, I'm using this big window there, got uh, from my neighbor, and uh, then it's going to have some sort of walls. I'm going to be using six straw bales. So the purpose of a cold frame is usually used to protect plants either from cold or from wet and um, it extends the growing season. For me, I mean it's the end of November here. We're at almost 70 degrees. I'm in a t-shirt. Um, but we're, you know, winter doesn't start till sometime in December. Then we've got January, then we've got February before things really start warming up again. So I'm gonna make one and I'll actually be planting in it. The, the area I'm using is gonna be right behind me. Um, got some good soil there, but there's nothing planted in there right now. So I'm actually going to be planting in it and actually just growing some sort of winter crops. Um, got a couple ideas. I'm also gonna ask for some suggestions. Um, anything you wanna see me grow. I've got a lot of seeds for about everything. So I'm just wondering what would you like to see and let's test how it works out. Whatever it is, it's gonna be more food than my garden would produce if I wasn't planting something, if I wasn't building a cold frame. But we're gonna show you guys real simply, real easily, just how to do this. So pretty much, that's a rectangle. Those are little rectangles. I figure one on each end, two per side. I'll figure it out on the ground level there. Put the, uh, put the sheet of glass on top and we'll have it done. So check this out. So you guys can see there, I mean, what I take? Three minutes, I guess, was the actual build time. That was it, you know, I sped it up. I don't really work that quick. But it's about that simple. What I'm actually gonna do, because I need some straw to cover some beds, I'm gonna shorten that end bale so it actually tucks inside there. And uh, make it just a little bit more airtight, I guess. You know, it'll still have a breathability to it. But this is it, guys. Every one of these resources I can still reuse. I can still put that window, you know, inside a, uh, Inside a building I'm building, I could give it back to my neighbor and say, hey, thanks for letting me borrow it through the winter. The straw, I can still use in the future as animal bedding or, you know, covering different uh, different beds, you know, save it till next fall and use it to cover some beds. But that's that simple, guys. So now comes the point where this is all the easier it needs to be. That was technically free. I think the straw bales cost me five bucks a piece. I was buying them anyway. I could still use some this year, but it's, it's that simple, you know. You can make them a lot cheaper than that. You can make them a lot easier than that. But that's what we uh, had laying around. That's what I'm doing. So now it comes a question of what do you guys want to see me grow in here? I plan on planting some cilantro because it apparently does really well. We were just harvesting it fresh the other day, even after a couple freezes, even after some snow, even after some sleet. But, you know, there's a lot of different greens that do pretty good, other things. What do you want to see me grow in here? Leave a, uh, leave a comment. And uh, I'll see if I got seeds for it and we'll get some things growing. As far as I know, this may be the only one I do this year. I may build some other ones. I may build some mini greenhouses, some smaller cold frames, different stuff. But right now, I'm going with this, getting started. Um, back in Wisconsin, we didn't used to do this. Um, and I haven't grown anything like this since I moved down to the Ozarks either. So this will be my first time giving it a try, testing out, see what you think uh, I should be growing, and I'll let you know how it does. All right, Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.